Hi there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. And I'm Cassie. And welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Introducing your host, Carl. And your co-host, Cassie. Where we learn, where we grow, and we talk about Jesus. Once again, welcome to Grow TV. Cassie, how have you been? Good. Pretty busy, though. How about you? Well, same. What have you been busy with? I've been reading a lot about Noah since we talked about him last week, and I really like that part about God making a promise to him and his family. Yeah, that's one of my favorite parts, too. God's promises are really cool. They are. I just hope I can get a promise for myself one day. What do you mean? Well, I've never gotten a promise from God. Sure you have. I think I would know, Carl. Well, think about all the promises that are in the Bible. I know, there are some cool ones, but I don't think they're for me. So that's why I'm waiting for my promise. Wait a second. I think we need to play a game right now. What game? It's called Promise or Not. How do you play? Well, it's easy. I'm going to read off some promises that are in the Bible, and you're going to have to figure out whether or not it's a promise for you or not. Got it? Got it. All right. Let's do Isaiah 40, 29. God gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Hmm. I don't think that's for me. All right. Round two. James 4, 7. Submit yourselves to the Lord. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. That's a tough one, but I'm going to say not for me. All right. Third and final round. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Now I've heard that verse before, but I don't know if that's a promise for me, so I'm going to say no. Okay, well let's look at the scoreboard. We gave you the three promises from the Bible. You chose that zero of these promises are for you. So let's see if you were wrong or right. How many of these promises were made for casting? Whoa! All three! Isn't that incredible? I guess, but I don't know. I just don't know if that makes any sense. I can understand that can be confusing, but when promises are made to God's children, that means all of God's children. Remember Abraham? Abraham from the Old Testament? Yep. God not only promised that he would take care of him and his family, but that his legacy would continue forever. So God made him a specific promise? Yep. And that promise wasn't just for Abraham, but it was for his kids, and their kids, and their kids, and their kids and their kids basically forever and that's the cool thing about god i guess you're right it's pretty cool that god's promises are for now and for later and you know what's even cooler ice cream yeah well no that does sound pretty good but what i was gonna say is polar bears they are pretty cool what no i was i was gonna say that's our big idea our big idea is polar bears no the other thing ice cream yay that's our big idea what? No! Okay, this is getting out of control. Just roll the big idea intro. Today's big idea is polar bears holding ice cream. What? Oh, man, this show is going off the rails. Sorry. This week's big idea is God's promises are for now and for later. So on the count of three, let's all say it together. Ready? Ready. One. Two. Three! God's promises are for now and for later! Good job, everyone. That was great. So this was a good day. Sure was. I'm glad you now realize that God's promises are for you now and for later. Yeah, I'm also really excited, too. For what? For the polar bears eating ice cream, of course. Are you kidding me? There's no polar bears in Florida. It's way too hot, first of all. And t secondly, I'm kind of terrified of polar bears. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Grow TV.